You're all set. Okay. So good morning, everyone. Let's uh, start the practice sitting. And for today's practice, I prepare a little meditation with a drum. So as you see, you're gonna remain with your eyes closed and I will guide you through it just to tune in and connect with the breath. Sitting comfortably, if you can hear the drum. Breathing in and breathing out through your nose. Feeling your body. And uh, you're gonna start inhaling at the count, counting to three. So I'll play the drum three times and then five to exhale. Inhaling, one, two, three. Exhale, five, one, Inhale, three, one, two, three, pause. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, pause. Now as you inhale, you're gonna just listen to the drum and count in your head. Inhale. Pause, exhale. Pause, inhale. Pause, exhale. Pause, inhale. And with your eyes closed, just feel your breath. Feel your body this morning. Bringing your palms to your heart center in Anjali Mudra. Setting the intention for your practice this morning. As we connect with our breath and we reset the rhythm, the rhythm of the body, the heart beats of the earth and the heart beats of our bodies. It is between the in-breath and the out-breath that we escape from time. So as you said, the intention this morning, taking a deep breath in, exhale it out through your mouth, and we'll open our practice with one chant of form. Inhaling deep. Slowly as you release your hands down, opening your eyes. Inhaling, reaching both arms, full breath. Exhaling to heart center. Inhaling, full breath. Exhaling, heart center. One more time. Inhaling, breath in. Exhaling, heart center. Bringing your knees to chest. From here, you're going to release your palms down, releasing your knees down, making your way to all fours. So in all fours, we keep the fingers active, the knees and hip width apart. Moving your hips from one side to the other. Good morning, Lucy. Good morning, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Moving from one side to the other. Circular movements with your hips, breath in and breath out. And switch the direction, breath in and breath out. And as you make your way back to all fours, you're going to tuck your toes under. As you exhale, you're going to lift your knees, sending your sit bones back and up to a downward facing dog. Inhaling, you're going to inhale to a plank. Exhale to downward facing dog. Inhaling, plank, 
exhaling to downward facing dog. From the downward facing dog, slowly walk your feet forward to meet your hands in front of your mat. Bringing your feet parallel, hip width apart, lifting and releasing the toes. Bringing your arms behind, see if you can touch opposite elbows, exhale forward bend. Breathe here. One breath, two breaths, releasing your arms down. Inhale, look forward, lengthening. Exhaling, forward bend. Inhaling as you bend the knees like you are sitting on a chair. You can bring here your feet a little wider, dropping more weight on your heels. Engage your core, so belly in, tuck your tailbone in. Inhale, reaching your arms up. Breathe here for one, for two, for three. Exhale, forward bend. Inhaling, rising, reaching both arms up. Exhaling, bringing the palms to the heart center. Now we move into some salutations. Go at your own pace. Use your breath, lifting and releasing your toes, bringing your palms to your heart center. Inhaling, reaching both arms up, full breath. Exhaling, forward bend. Inhale, look forward, lengthening. Exhaling as you bend the knees, releasing your palms down, right leg goes back, right knee down. Inhaling, scoop forward and up. Nice, full breath in. Exhaling, releasing your palms down. Left leg back to downward facing dog. Fully exhale. Inhaling as you release your knees down. Exhaling as you lower your chest down, elbows in. Inhaling to cobra. Exhaling to downward facing dog. Inhaling, right foot forward, left knee down. Exhaling, left foot forward, forward bend. Inhaling, rising. Exhaling, palms to the heart center. Inhaling. Full breath, take your time, don't rush. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, look forward, lengthening. Exhaling as you bend the knees, palms down, left leg back, left knee down. Inhaling, rising. Exhaling, releasing your palms down. Right leg goes back to downward facing dog. Fully exhale. Inhaling, releasing your knees down. As you exhale, lowering down to a yogi push up. Inhaling to cobra. Exhaling to downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward, right knee down. Exhaling, right foot forward to forward bend. Inhaling, rising. Exhaling, palms to the heart center. And for a moment, releasing your arms down. So from here, we go right leg goes back. Now turning to the right side of your mat. Feet are parallel, lifting and releasing the toes. Inhaling, reaching both arms. Full breath, exhaling as you move from the hips into forward bend. Taking a few deep breaths into this forward bend, relaxing your head down, relax your knees, relax your legs. So you will feel the stretch behind, bring attention into those areas that feel tight. Relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your head, relax your neck. Inhale, look forward, lengthening the spine, arms out, arms behind, touching opposite elbows, or bringing your palms together as you interlock the fingers, exhale forward. Breathe in, breathe out. So again, bring that attention into the shoulders, breathe. Inhaling, releasing, reaching both arms forward and up. Exhaling, palms to the heart center. 
Inhaling, left foot forward, bending your knee, bringing your arms out to warrior two. Once you're in warrior two, gazing on your left finger. So look down, make sure your feet are active, the legs are engaged, your hips and shoulders are aligned, and both arms are active. Inhaling as you turn your left thumb up, scoot back to peaceful warrior. Bringing your right arm behind. Inhaling, warrior two. Exhaling, side angle. So one option, right, your left arm, left leg, right arm over. So the right arm is going to give you that stretch. Open the chest, look up. Option two, releasing, left hand down. Breathe. Inhaling back to warrior two. Exhaling, releasing your arms down, making your way to the front. Now we switch sides. Left leg back, turning to the left side of your mat. Feet parallel. Engaging legs, inhaling both arms, full breath. Exhaling as you move from the hips into forward bend. Once you're in the forward bend, relax shoulders, neck, head down, breathe. Keep your eyes closed and keep the attention inwards. Inwards. Inhale, look forward, lengthening the spine. Left hand goes to center. As you take the next inhale, bringing the right arm up for a gentle twist. Gaze up, breathe. Exhaling, releasing. Inhale, switch. Right hand down, left arm up, breathe. Gaze up. Exhaling, releasing. Inhaling, rising. Both arms. Exhaling, bringing palms to the heart center. Inhaling your right foot forward, bending your knee, arms out to warrior two. Gazing on your right hand, breathe. Feel your legs engage, feel your legs active. Inhaling, turning right palm up, scoot back to peaceful warrior. Inhaling to warrior two, exhaling to side angle. Left arm is really active. Feel the stretch on the left side, feel the extension. Breathe, gaze up, don't collapse on your right side. Breathe. Inhaling warrior two. Exhaling, releasing your arms down, left foot forward to the front. From here, we're going to use the wall. So if you need to move, last, last class we used a little bit of uh, wall space. So if you have some wall space, we'll work a little bit on posture, feet parallel, hip width apart. If you have the block, I finally got one. So you're gonna bring it in between your feet. As you press the block in between your feet, lifting your toes and releasing your toes. So see if you can keep the big toe and the heel pressing into the block, engaging your legs. Legs are very active. Back of your shoulders on the wall, back of your head on the wall. Inhaling, reaching both arms. Thumbs touching the wall behind you. As you press your feet into the block, Engaging your legs and reaching your arms up. Breath in and breath out. Exhale, releasing your arms down. 
move your feet around. Now we'll use the block. So the block goes in between the thighs, the wall you will use as a safety net, step forward as you bend the knees, bringing back up your shoulders, back up your head. If you wanna go a little deeper, you can go a little lower, pressing on the block so the legs become really active, inhaling, reaching both arms, touching opposite elbows, breathe. Inhaling, bringing arms up, recrossing your arms. Inhaling, reaching arms up. Exhaling, releasing arms down. Placing hands on the wall, coming up. And we remove the block. We can leave the block down, shake your legs, good job. So now, one more time, we'll use the wall. And again, if you don't have a wall, just try to keep your balance. We're gonna only go two poses, well, three poses. Warrior three, triangle, half moon. So block on the right side, legs apart, arms out. Right foot to the right, bending your knees. So we start in warrior two. Once you establish your warrior two, inhale and bringing your right leg straight, turning your right palm up. Reach forward. Exhale, release right hand down, bringing your left arm up. Breathe. Keep your shoulders on the wall. Inhaling back to warrior two. Shifting it to your right leg. So slowly shifting the weight one breath at a time. Right hand reaching for that block. Left heel on the wall. Bringing your arms out to half moon. Very nice. So I see everyone very well. Everyone is balanced. Breathe. See for a moment you can keep your eyes closed. Open your chest. And gently making your way back to warrior two. Releasing your arms down, bringing your right foot in. And now we move to the other side. So left foot to the left. Bending your knee arms out to warrior two. Inhaling, left leg straight, left palm up. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, releasing. Left hand down, right arm up. Use the wall. Use the wall. Open the chest. Look up. Inhaling back to warrior two. As you start shifting to your left side, left leg, left hand down, hand on the block. One breath at a time, right arm up. Breathe, open the chest, bring the shoulders towards the wall. Yes. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. And slowly making your way back to warrior two, releasing your arms down. And now we all come to the mat. Good job. I know it's a little um, a little unusual. So let me play a little music now. We set the mood for a little music. In the meantime, you're going to lay on your back. Have the prop, have the block, have the strap, everything in place. So as you lay on your back, on 
the next inhale, you're gonna reach both arms above your head, pointing your toes, nice, full stretch. Exhale, bringing knees to chest. Inhaling, you're gonna bring your legs up to the ceiling. Bringing your arms out like a T on the floor. As you inhale, lengthening, bring those heels to the ceiling. As you exhale, you're gonna bring both legs to the right side. Gently to the right side. Inhaling, center. Exhaling to the left. Inhale, center. So we'll do one more time on each side. Coming back to center, bringing knees to chest. Now releasing your left leg down. You're going to keep your right knee to chest. Using the strap, you're going to bring the strap around your right foot. So I know during our regular practice, we will have the left foot pressing on the wall, but for comfort here, and since you want to be able to eventually look at the screen, you're going to keep the left foot active as you bring the right heel towards the ceiling, both hands on the strap, keep the shoulders down. So keep both hands on the strap, everyone. Keep the shoulders down, keep the elbows down. Let go of the strap if you need to and straighten that right leg. Keep the chest open, breathe. Feel your breath flowing into your right side. With your right hand holding the strap, left arm out. And you're going to guide the right leg with your breath, allowing the right leg to go to the right. Gentle, gentle stretch. Breathe. Inhaling center. Switch hands, right arm out. Guiding with your breath to the left side. Inhaling, center. Exhaling, you're going to bring your forehead towards the right knee. So whether you're using the strap, you can interlock your fingers. You can reach for that big toe. Breathe. Very nice, everyone. Very nice. Exhaling, releasing shoulders, head down, bringing knee to chest. And as you bring that knee to chest, keeping your left foot active, you will allow the right knee to open, bringing the right foot in for three poses. So bringing the right foot to press on the inner thigh, keep the left foot active. As you take the next inhale, reaching both arms above your head. Nice, breath in. Lengthen, feel your breath. Exhaling, bringing palms to the heart center. Bringing the right knee to center. And gently, you're going to bring the left hand to the right knee, and you're gonna bring the right foot on your left thigh. Right arm opens, and you're gonna guide right knee through the left side. So a gentle twist. Here you have more control of the twist. Gazing over your right hand. Inhaling center. Exhaling right knee to chest. And releasing your right leg down and relax your arms down. Take a moment to feel your breath. Take a moment to feel your energy and all the parts that you just moved. Take a breath in, exhale it out through your mouth. Inhaling both arms above your head. 
Exhaling, left knee to chest. Once you bring that knee to chest, bring in this strap around your left foot. Releasing your right leg and see if you can keep the right foot active. Both hands holding the strap, shoulders and elbows down. Keep the chest open and keep the shoulder blades pressing into each other. Feel your breath. Feel the left heel towards the ceiling. So nice, very active leg. With your left hand holding the strap, right arm up, and again, guiding with your breath, always slow breath. Keeping your eyes closed and keeping the attention inwards. Inhaling center, loose it and rush. Exhaling, switch hands, left arm out, guiding to the right, gently. Inhaling center. Exhaling, bringing forehead towards the knee. You have options to release the strap and interlock your fingers. Breathe, nice, gentle stretch. Yes, yes. Exhaling, releasing shoulders, head down, bringing knee to chest. Bring the right foot to be active and flex. So right foot active, right leg active, yes. Left knee opens to the left, and you're going to bring the left foot on your right inner thigh for two pose. Once you establish your three pose, inhaling both arms above your head. Lengthening your body, allowing your breath to flow through. Exhaling, come to your heart center. Bringing left knee to center, left foot on your right thigh. So left foot on your right thigh, right, left arm up. You're gonna guide left knee to the right side. Again, gentle stretch, gentle twist. Feel those high parts, maybe in your lower back, in your hips, in your legs, and work it with the breath. And coming back to center, bringing both knees to chest, placing the block in between your thighs, Keeping your legs active, your feet active. So feet need to be flexed, arms out like a T. You will use the breath as your teacher. Inhaling center, exhaling knees to the right, legs to the right. Fully exhale. Inhaling, making your way back to center. Exhaling to the left. Couple more times. Each side, don't rush at your own time. Breath in and breath out. Breath in and breath out. And once you do even times on each side, coming to center, releasing the block down, releasing your legs down, relax on your back. Take a moment here to feel your breath and take a moment just to feel your whole body. One breath in through the nose. Exhale it out through your mouth.
inhaling, reaching both arms above your head. Exhaling, coming to a seated position. From a seated position, bringing your knees to chest, bringing your right leg on front of your left leg, inhaling, reaching both arms. Exhaling, you're gonna turn to left side, right hand on left knee, gently bringing left arm over. So again, feeling this extension on your left side, breathe, keep the chest open, breathe here. Inhaling center, exhaling knees to chest, left leg on front, inhaling, rising. Exhaling to the right, left hand down, bringing your right arm over. Nice, gentle stretch. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, center. Exhaling, knees to chest. Boat right of the day. So today, let's do a few variations. Comes down, knees to chest. Inhaling, legs forward, lean back, like a lower boat, exhaling, knees to chest. Inhaling, lean back with a smile, exhale, knees to chest. In, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Option one, repeating the same practice or bringing your palms to your heart center, inhaling, legs forward, exhaling, knees to chest. In, exhale. In, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale, knees to chest. So also keep feet together, reaching for your push pose. Lengthening, flapping your wings, flapping your wings. Sit tall, flap, flap, flap. Exhaling, you're going to bring yourself down to forward bend. On the forward bend, releasing your arms down, releasing your head down. Breathe into your hips. Relax. Inhaling, rising. Exhaling, bringing knees to chest. Releasing your palms down and releasing your knees down. So we come back to a force. And you're gonna bring your palms back, back and forward, forward, back, back. Be mindful of your wrist and keep your fingers exactly. Forward, forward, back, back. And now we'll do a few rounds of cat cow. Inhaling, dropping the belly, lifting the tailbone, look forward. As you exhale, you're gonna round the spine, chin to chest, belly in. Breath in. Exhale, inhale, cool breath, eyes closed, attention on your breath, in, and as you exhale completely, and you take the inhale, you're going to bring your hands forward, forward, and then release, sit on your heels, move your fingers, thumbs in, fists, open and close, open and close. And release. So for the next couple poses, a block, if you have a bolster or just a cushion or a pillow, that will be fine. The first pose.
toes, soles of the feet together, placing the cushion behind your back. So I'm going to turn sideways so everyone can just see what's happening here. I bring the soles of my feet together, I place the pillow, and then I rest. I make sure the pillow, the bulk is center, arms by my side, arms up. With my eyes closed, attention on your breath. So once I see everyone gets comfortable, we're going to breathe in and breathe out with the drum. And the count is going to go the same. Inhaling, counting to three. Exhaling, counting to five. In your head, I will just play the drum. Gently as you release the count, allowing yourself just to feel your breath, no manipulation of the breath. Bringing your knees together, rolling on your right side, making your way back to the seated position. Now we'll use the block for the next pose and I will play the drum again just for everyone to connect, not only with your breath but your heartbeat. Feel like the drum is the heartbeat of the earth and the, the heartbeat of our bodies. So just stay with the rhythm. We're gonna go into supported bridge. So placing your feet together, lifting your hips, you will place the block once you're comfortable, stretching your legs. You can always bring your arms above your head or you can keep your arms by your side or you can keep your hands on your belly or one hand in your belly and one hand in your chest. Your choice, what's comfortable. And once more, inhaling, counting of three, Exhaling, counting of five at your own pace. Mm -hmm. 
Slowly releasing the count, feeling the natural flow of breath. Bringing your feet flat on the mat. Walking your feet back. Lifting your hips, removing the block. Releasing your hips down, bringing your knees to chest. Massage your back, you can do circular movements with your knees, gently from one side to the other, clockwise and clockwise. Ah, and gently rolling on your right side, making your way back to the seated position. Good. Once you make your way to the seated position, stretching your legs, moving some legs, some breath from under your seat bone. Flexing your feet, you're going to spread your toes and you're going to lift your heels off the ground. So your kneecaps are contracted, your quads are active, calf muscles are very active. Using the block, inhaling, reaching your arms up, exhaling, releasing arms down. So pay attention on your breathing, allow the breath to guide it move. Inhaling, rising. Smooth breath in, exhale. Couple more times, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, this time we're going to remain with the arms up. Look down on your toes, make sure they're spread out and the heels are not touching the ground. Lengthening the arms, lengthening the spine, breathe. Breathe, lengthen, 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 sit tall, look up. Exhaling, releasing. Relaxing your legs down and shake your legs. Inhaling, reaching both arms. Exhaling, bringing right knee to chest. Right leg over left leg, planting the right foot, left foot active, sitting tall, so sit tall, inhaling left arm, exhaling as you turn to the right side, right hand goes back, gazing over the right shoulder. Inhale center. Exhaling, knee to chest, releasing your leg down, left knee to chest, left leg over right leg, placing the right torch and left foot remains active, lengthening, inhaling right arm, exhaling to left side, left hand to the back. Oh, 
Inhale, center. Exhale, you lift the chest. Both knees to chest. And now we lay on the belly. So let's do something a little challenging today. Again, if you need to modify the posture, feel free. We'll use the block. Placing the block on your lower back. Inhaling, lifting the legs, pointing the toes, reaching for the block behind you to Shalabhasana. Keep reaching, keep breathing. Breathe. Couple more breaths. Breath in. Exhale, releasing. Remaining on your belly or to a child's pose. Relax. Inhaling, coming back to a seated position. Inhaling, right arm forward, keeping the arms straight and active as you exhale, arm to the left side. Left hand comes in help, so keeping the arms straight, straight arm. Yes. So inhale, exhaling, bringing arm to the left. Don't bend the elbow. Breathe into the right shoulder. Gently releasing, opening and releasing. Left arm straight, nice. Exhale. So you can always bring your right hand between the shoulder or the elbow or between the elbow and the wrist. But please to keep that elbow active. Breath in and breath out. Breathe in and breathe out. And slowly coming back to center, releasing. Inhaling, reaching your shoulders. Hold the breath, hold your shoulders. Exhale, release. In. Exhale. One more time. In. Exhale. Keeping both shoulders and your arms heavy. Circular movements with your neck. Couple times clockwise. And couple times anti-clockwise. And back to center. So from here, we're going to go to the wall. Again, I will give you choices and the variations to do with the wall. Um, and at the end for Shavasana, you can keep your legs up on the wall or you can lay on your back. And you can always use your props to make the, the, the practice comfortable. So before everyone gets a wall space, I will demonstrate the few options that I will ask everyone to explore today. So once you get really close on the wall, our first option, squatting. So we do squatting to prevent strain on the knees. If we were doing the squatting on the floor, it will be too, too much on the knees. So again, your feet determine the stretch. So any, anywhere where you're comfortable. From here, we bring the legs up and we allow the legs to open. From here, we bring legs together and we slide the feet down, pressing knees towards the wall. Then right leg on top, bending the knee, left knee. And then we switch. Somewhere here. And once you come back to Vita Vita Karani, your choice to remain here 
or coming down on your back. I will guide everyone. So make sure you are comfortably against the wall or even a chair. I will start squatting, remaining with your eyes closed and the attention inwards. Breath in and breath out. Breath in and breath out. We'll practice the same breathing. Inhaling to three, exhaling to five. Now bring your legs up, allowing your legs to open like a V. Keep the awareness on your breath, inhaling, counting to three, exhaling, counting of five. together, bringing soles of your feet together, sliding your feet down, inhaling to three, exhaling to five, don't lose the count. up, right leg on top of your left leg, bending right knee, right foot down, bending left knee, left foot down. Switch left leg on top. or coming down on your back for final relaxation, Shavasana. With your eyes closed, take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale it out through your mouth. Letting go. Scanning your body limb by limb as you allow any knots of tension to dissolve completely.
relaxing. Plantas en el agua, en tu cuerpo, en tu alma, en tu corazón, en tu sentimiento, en tu entendimiento, y me hará una relación. Y deja brillar el sol, escondido en tu interior. Ah, 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 ah. Es tiempo ya, ya es ahora, abre tu corazón y recuerda. Como el espíritu cura, como el amor sana, como el árbol florece y la vida perdida. Que para llegar a ti hay que aprender a ser Slowly as you deepen your breath. With that breath, you can move your fingers and you can move your toes. Reaching your arms above your head. Hugging your knees to your chest. Gently massage your back. Rolling on your right side for fetal position. As you take a moment in fetal position to feel your breath. Rolling on your right side and making your way up to the seated position of your choice. You can sit against the wall with your eyes closed. Bringing your palms to your heart center and angel yoga. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale it out through your mouth. Enjoy every moment of your life. Enjoy the light in your eyes, the wind in your nose, the sounds in your ears. Try to turn your attention to the beauty of every moment and simply be happy about the gift of life. The beauty is one doesn't need anything to be happy. Let's close our practice this morning with one chant of home. Inhaling. Uh, 
and your bodies find strength, your minds wisdom, and your hearts love and happiness. The light within me acknowledges the light in each of you now. Thank you so much. Uh, Regina.